Okay, so Kath and I worked um, for a company called Samworth Brothers, and they own 14 businesses um, in Cornwall and Leicestershire, and they are a family-run business um, and a really good company to work for. Um, there's a real mix of products between the businesses, um, so I worked with pies and pasties, Kath worked with ready meals, and there's also sandwiches, desserts. Yeah, so it's a manufacturing business, so they actually make the food. There's lots of different talks going to be tonight, but we were involved in making the food. Um, and it's, as Hannah said, it's a really good business. Um, a business that's, I don't know if you've seen the lorries, but you'll, if you keep an eye out, you'll see them going up and down. Um, it's got on the side, quality is a way of life, and I think they really take that into heart. Um, also, people, quality, profit is a big thing. Look after your people, look after your quality, and you get the profit. So they really do look after the employees, and we had a really great time. Yes. Um, so the application process that we went through, um, first of all, we had to send in our CV with, I think it was like 100 words of why we think um, we would be good for working somewhere. Then we went on to a phone interview, um, and then if you got through that stage, we got through to the discovery recruitment day, um, and then if you got through to that, it was another assessment day, which was a final one, thankfully, um, and it was with like, the IP directors board, so um, there's about 10 people, ten people on the yeah. board um, that come, and then you have to do group tasks, and do a presentation of why you should be the person to work for them, and why you want somewhere, and then also an interview, which is good. Yeah, it all sounds very daunting, but um, I don't know whether I'm a bit of a nerd, but I actually enjoyed it. Um, <laughs> some of the tasks were quite fun. Um, one bit of advice I'd say is just be yourself. Um, try and be maybe a bit unique and don't take it too seriously. Obviously, it's really important. Um, but um, <laughs> try and be unique and have a little bit of a fun with it. I think they um, you can get them to laugh yeah, in the right way. Um, so the placement itself... Uh, as we said earlier, it's either going to be in Cornwall or Leicester, and they're two six-month placements um, in two different roles, so two different job roles. Um. So, yeah, we had like, the possible job roles that we found we and our um, peers were going into were like, technical roles, process roles, um, marketing or um, commercial, um, production and finance. There was so many, such a wide range of opportunity. Um, and we also had really lucky because Samworth really look after their employees and both on the placement scheme and within the company everyone gets a mentor um, so we got a mentor alongside like your manager um, and you meet monthly and they were there whenever you needed them really so they discussed progress with you they really pushed you to go <laughs> completely out of your comfort zone um, and also helped you in difficult situations. Yeah, so they were someone outside your business, um, so they sort of had a different perspective on it and sometimes questioned you on why you've done that, why shouldn't you be doing this, why shouldn't you be pushing yourself. And at the time it's a bit sort of daunting, but looking back I was really glad I got pushed and I couldn't be quite proud of what I achieved. You also have a um, manager and you have um, personal development meetings every three, min uh, three months, so you talk about your skills, um, what you're good at, what you're bad at, which is good, um, so then you can improve on it and your personal attributes and if it's make it a better experience. That's what they're always after, making it a better experience for you and they always emphasise making use of your 12 months because it goes by very fast. So quickly. And by the end you see your final PDM and you just feel so different from your first one. So it's really useful. We found, we think it's going to be useful for future food industry jobs because we can use the points that were made on it. Um, to kind of help us show what we need to improve on um, and also what we're good at. Yeah. Do you want to go okay, first? Okay, I'll start. <laughs> um, we're going to now talk about our placements themselves. So I started off um, at Walker's Charmwood Bakery, a traditional uh, pork pie manufacturer. Um, another good point is I didn't like pork pies before I went, so it seemed quite daunting and I don't like the product. Um, go in with an open mind and I'm now officially addicted to them. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, go in with an open mind um, when you're applying, go for everything that you think would appeal to you um, and then see how it goes from there. So I was a process technologist 
uh, which means basically I had a recipe from Master Pie Maker, what a cool title, um, uh, in the kitchen. So he was making these little pies six at a time, ten at a time, and they, I had to times it by a hundred in the factory. So I just needed to make sure it was ran smoothly. Sometimes it was easy, sometimes things went wrong. Um, so I made a sort of organising trials, so you get from butchery, making sure they're doing everything right, from the right spices in, manufacturing, baking, make sure nothing gets burnt, if it does, why does it get burnt, what do we need to do better next time, and then packing. Um, so it's a really good job because you get to liaise with so many different departments and you get to learn what finance do, what uh, QA do, what technical do, commercial, you have to speak to everyone. So yeah, often on demand quite a lot. So, um, but it's a really good way to learn your way around the business. Even though I didn't get a chance to do another role in that business, I felt like I knew quite a lot of roles. Um, so that was really good. Uh, I also got to meet with customers such as uh, M&S and Tesco's on the days of launch, making sure everything ran smoothly, making sure they were happy with the products and everything. So um, that was really interesting, sort of different side of it. Uh, positives, every day is different. You go through the door and you don't know what you expect is going to happen. Um, things go wrong, but <laughs> you've got to take it in your stride. And um, I love the challenge of when there's a problem, trying to sort it out. And it's a real sense of achievement when you finish on Friday and that, yes, the pies are fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah life does sort of revolve around pies <laughs> for a while. But um, yeah, it's really good fun. Um, everyone there is really welcoming. Um, in my department, it's like quite close knit. Um, people, I was the youngest 20, going up to 60, but we all sort of hung around in the kitchen, working hard together, and we've got on really well, which is really good. Um, and yeah, so I was never bored in that role because it was very busy. Uh, negative, um, it was demanding hours, but at the same time I really enjoyed myself, so it didn't feel like such a strain. Um, and everyone was in it together, we all pulled together, so it was really good. Um, so, no real bad points. Uh, for my second six months, I stayed in Leicester and worked for Salad Works, uh, doing ready meals, um, mainly pasta based, so your macaroni cheese, your spaghetti bolognese. Um, and this time I worked in production, so on the line, the glamorous job of white coats and hair nets, no makeup, no false nails, um, suited me down to the ground. Um, so I was in charge of the day to day running of the line. Uh, so I had 15 staff, all looking to me for answers from the second week in. So it was quite a big learning curve, being thrown in and sort of say, you need to learn your way around, know what, how to make this product, what quality you need and everything to make the perfect product. Um, but I did have a lot of training, so they're very supportive um, and I really enjoyed it. So um, I, looked, I looked after the personnel aspects as well, so they, you suddenly get these people asking if they can go to the toilet and <laughs> can I have holiday for next week? Um, so it was quite strange, all this um, authority, and I have recently been described as a doormat, just two years ago. Um, so I had to come out of my um, shell a bit and that, so it really pushed me, so I really enjoyed that. And um, yeah, I even came quite stern, <laughs> so it sort of surprise to some people. Um, so it was really good, um, building up a really good rapport with all my members of my line. Um, and uh, responsibility, I sort of started training other people as well, so it was quite flattering, and I got that responsibility. Um, a very challenging, another challenging role, they don't sort of give you a role making cups of tea, it's um, full on, which is really good. Um, very satisfying, you know, you end of the day, 5,000 units done, and it's all good. <laughs> um, negatives on this one, the shift pattern was Tuesday to Saturday, 5.30 in the morning till finish. So um, I got told as soon as I joined the company there's two five o'clocks in the food industry um, and you realise this quite soon but um, once you get into the groove you don't really realise what's happening it just gets used to, it's just norm. Um, so and there's, there was quite a large diversity of nationalities so at the start um, I had to work very hard on my communication skills making sure everyone understood, speaking slower pure words. Um, but we got there in the end and um, really made some really good friends there and I was sad to leave both of the um, placements. Um, so I think I've said my learning curves, just go in there with lots of passion, show that you need to be passionate about food because it's quite hard work. So um, be passionate, be passionate in your interviews and 
every day. Um, go, go in with a smile on your face and if you're stuck, just ask for help. Everyone will help you. Um, and I think the best way to learn is to go into industry to see it firsthand. You can sit in lectures completely glazed over, but when you're in the situation doing it yourself, I think you really learn so much. Um, and I know it's changed me for the better, hopefully. And um, so hopefully you'll also enjoy your placements and good luck for the future. Um, so my year was very different to Kath's. Um, I started it at um, Kmart Foods um, for the first six months, which was a technical role. And I didn't have a clue what technical was about or what you'd be doing, um, and I was thrown into the deep end straight away. But I loved it, absolutely loved it. Um, so my first three months, I was um, working on M&S um, products, kind of getting the systems ready um, in the bakery and in the technical department, ready for M&S to launch. Um, so I worked a lot with the process team, um, which Kath worked in different business. Um, and that was good. I got to see technical and process um, and go to trials, make sure that the paperwork was ready for when the product launches. M&S are really particular about everything, so that was really hard work, but really, really good. Um, I got to do, look into the raw materials, um, go to trials, go to the product launches and also get all the product launch packs ready for the directors which is quite scary that all your work's going towards the directors and that's like your second week at work, but it's brilliant. Um, I really thought, like, I felt like I was given loads of responsibility, but that they really trusted me with it, um, which I liked. I liked to be put under pressure, so that was good. Um, and also I liked it because it was both bakery and office um, work. I can't really sit still long enough to do a full day at the office, so that was good. Um, and then my second six months at Tamar was after learning all the stuff to do with technical to um, do the HACCP paperwork, so change it completely because M&S weren't happy with the way it was at the time. So this involved me going around the bakery, getting to know all the staff, getting to know the machinery um, and changing the HACCP paperwork to suit it to the best it can be. Um, which was really hard work at times and tiring but, and a lot of long hours. Um, to do that I had to work nights, weekends, days, it was, but I actually really enjoyed it. Um, and then I loved the ending which was training my paperwork out to all the staff um, in the bakery and trying to get them on side because they didn't like change at all. Um, but that was really good and by the end everyone like the paperwork and they're still using it now so that's really good. Um, the technical team itself was amazing. I loved working in it. There was about eight of us I think but I also got to get to know like, everyone else in the business quite well. So it's not massive so that was nice. Um, my benefits I'd say that really pushed out of my comfort zone which I liked and um, made me learn a lot in a short amount of time. So. I was really grateful, um, being given a lot of responsibility, being kept busy, um, and the atmosphere was just so friendly, and um, so I loved that. The only problems really were the long hours, which I didn't mind too much. Um, I can imagine if you've got more on, maybe it would be annoying, but I was in Cornwall. I didn't have much to do. <laughs> um, and also I often got asked to get involved in loads of tasks, with people who weren't even in the technical team, um, which could have affected my work, so it's hard to balance the work, but, um, but then that was just a learning curve. Um, my main learning curve for Tamar Foods was I learned how important it is to work as a team. They do it brilliantly there, um, so it just showed me how well a team can come together and make something happen. My second six months was completely different. Um, I went next door to Ginster's where I was in marketing. I knew nothing about marketing. I've never done anything in marketing in my life and it was daunting. Um, but I actually ended up enjoying it and learning so much. 
Um, it was completely different. I had quite a few difficulties to start with because I didn't know what I was doing. It's got nothing to do with food. I don't know anything about marketing. Um, and by the end, I learned quite a bit. Um, I got to project manage some MPD launches, but from a marketing side of things. Um, I got to look at all the consumer feedback because it's a branded company. Um, I got to get everyone who writes into Goodsters that came to me. So I got to reply to them as well, um, which is quite a big responsibility because your response is going to the people who are buying your products. Um, so that was a good learning curve. Um, also got to monitor the product quality and um, analyse the product performance for the company and um, I had a project of changing the working outlines which was like a document of um, for each product, like a document of everything about it so that was quite a lot of work but that was good. Um, the benefits really for Ginsters was working in a different department so now I feel like now I've worked in marketing I could use that to my advantage if I'm going to an interview. I haven't just seen like the food production side of things, I've seen the marketing side, so I've got more of a rounded view. Um, and the, it got me involved in those other activities, I guess it's really good. I got to go out for a day working with kids um, because they're very like community based, so that was really good. Um, problems. I felt like it was a little less responsibility than my time in Tamar, so it's hard to adjust to that. Um, and I had to push for work a little bit more. Um, and also it was more of an office-based job, and I'm not so good at sitting still. So, um, But I learned about it, so that's fine. Um, and learning curve for Ginsters was that communication is key um, to a successful team, and that was a huge learning curve there. Um, overall, I'd just say get stuck in and everything. Even if you don't think you're going to like it, I don't think I'd like marketing. Just do it. You learn so much, and I probably learned just as much in marketing as I did in technical. Um, it was great because I really felt like I made an impact. My uh, last week of Tamar at Tamar, I had to present to the board of directors, which is the scariest thing I've ever done, and um, give them my ideas of how they can improve their company. And I found out two months later that they used my ideas, so that was really rewarding. Um, and yeah, so definitely just do a placement. Um, I've learnt more than I could ever imagine. I love the food industry, it's so dynamic and fast paced, um, and there's something for everyone, so it's brilliant. Um, and I feel like I've really improved my skills and can see where my degree is going now. So definitely do it.